Hello, and welcome to Greece, uh, which is a new game that's just come out on Steam a couple of days ago. It's, what even is the date today? 15th, 15th of December, 10 days till Christmas. Um, I don't know much of anything about this. In fact, the only reason I've even heard of it is because it was featured in a random uh, top 10 indie games of 2018 list. Uh, that I stumbled upon uh, earlier today. So I thought, you know what? That looks really interesting. Um, I'm going to give it a go. It's 15 quid on Steam. So, you know, I'll play an hour or two of it. If it's good, I'll keep it. If it's not, um, I'll send it back. But it is one of the few games that I've seen that has got overwhelmingly positive reviews. So I thought I'd check it out and, and see what it's about. Uh, as best as I can tell, it's by a Spanish studio. There's the name Gris, which means grey, I think, uh, in Spanish, and a variety of other Romance languages. Um, and I think it's something to do with the stages of grief. Don't know. Um, so, the autofocus on my camera is really weird, but I thought I turned it off. So, uh... Let's give it a go. There's no options, so to speak of. That's really bright. I'm already liking this soundtrack. And the kind of almost sketchbook animation style. Lost her voice, never this cracking around her, so something traumatic is occurring. Like the shift between those vibrant colours and the, the slightly darker hues. With games like this, you never quite know when you are going to be given control. Especially because you've got these credits rolling down the screen already. The least. Well, if this is anything like the kind of quality I'm going to be seeing all, or hearing rather all the way through, there's somebody I'm going to go and look up straight after this. I'm assuming that just means nomad in Spanish, maybe? I'll probably have to look that up. I don't speak any Spanish. Breathe. Uh, I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say I could probably pick up the... Yes! I'm in control! Oh, wow. This is a very interesting So I don't have a jump or anything like that. It's just just walking. I'm almost kind of loath to put the camera 
back on. Because I kind of feel like whatever I do is going to be in the way. Let's just put myself right down in the corner there. Um, because if this is a game about story and emotions, then it, it, it's all about reaction and seeing that experience and understanding how it affects the gamer. Yeah, so if I if I hit a button, she just falls down currently. So either that is trying to teach me that there are no other controls as of yet. Just going to check the settings. I don't want to look at the uh the controls because that might spoil an element of what is about to happen. Ooh. Fog gate. Boss time. Ooh. There were... Things. Ooh. That wasn't me. Ah! Now I have... Oh, look at that animation. This is this is all the hand animated, clearly. Um, that billowing cape. Really, really tight... Controls. And... Smooth scaling as well. Don't yet know what is going to be interactive, but I like that that little kind of feeling of resignation that she was going to have to do more than just carry on as she was. The the the, the art style of the the kind of trees is is quite interesting as well. That's not like a, a natural branch formation. This soundtrack's amazing. <laughs> I get the feeling that this is not going to be a game featuring many of the... What the... Featuring many of the traditional tropes of platformers. They react to my proximity. So if I get too close, they turn into... Shapes. There is a real sense so far, and I know I'm only nine minutes in, uh, there's a real sense of, ooh, of the fact that we're going on some kind of journey here. Now, I never played Journey, the, the kind of animated uh, game about going on a journey. It was never something I really thought about picking up. We're thing. What are we thing? Oop. What are we? It's saying you're going to attack for me. No, this isn't Ori in the Blind Forest. Uh. Oop. Oh. 
So, I can now press B to do something. I might have been able to do that before, but I've got this little geometric thing following me now. I don't think I've got any control over it. So... I'm not entirely sure why I've got it. Hello! Shape things! Oh, we can stand on the... Ooh. There's another one! Ah, we've got two following us now. So are these going to be puzzle pieces? Is it that kind of game? Can't use those as stepping stones. Ah, I think maybe I have to collect three and then get them over there? Possibly? Yeah, so I need three, but I've only got two. So they are going to be things that help me solve. Oh, can't get up there. Uh, how am I going to get up here? I'm liking the fact that there's no indication of what to do or how things work. It is very much just, uh... Hi. Giant flappy creature. I have created a random bridge. Ah, and I've now got three. Interesting. Again, not entirely sure how the rules of the game work, but I like that. Oops. I don't need to know just yet. Nor do I know what that was. But I seem to have... Put those pieces together or something. There's, there's a very interesting interplay between foreground and background elements. I'm just wondering if that uh, thing that I've just interacted with has any kind of interaction with the giant flappy thing is there going to be another one no it doesn't look like there is Right, there doesn't seem to be any falling damage either. I, I kind of get the feeling that this isn't a game about that kind of platforming. So I can now bridge across here. And that will allow me... to progress down the other side of that mountain. I mean, is this the kind of game that's going to have secrets? Is it... or is it just about that... journey? Incidentally, fingers, really difficult to draw, so to to, to stylize them like this is a, a reasonably impressive piece of artistry. Oop. Oop. Oop.
achievement unlocked. Red. So we've added... I like that, the, the red stained fingertips. So we've added colour back to the world in this really beautiful kind of watercolour style. And I'm wondering, has it changed? Oh, we can't actually go back. I wonder how it has changed the world. Again, the surges of music that we're getting, mixed with the the, the quiet ambience, is very striking. And everything's now got this ruddy hue to it, including ourselves. And Ah, so I think I think we need two towers. So we're getting little splashes of colour. Again, it's not super clear what is uh, is not interactable. So have we lost our little... Yeah, we've lost our little dudes. Um, I suspect a lot of this video is going to be me looking kind of confused. Um, which I'm not entirely sure whether that's just my natural face. Uh... Or, or whether that is just going to be as a result of the uh, the puzzle elements. I, mean, I quite like puzzles in games. But it does often take me a while to figure out how they work. Right, we've got no way of getting up there. We've we've only got a very limited Interesting. So you you can interact a tiny bit with physics objects. So it looks like we're going to have to come back to this place. Uh, left or right? Yeah, this looks like it's going to be some kind of hub that we have to come back to once we've filled the world with colour, maybe? Oh, wee! Oh, I'm in control here. This is not just a cutscene. Ah, oh, look at the colour shifts. And we've got this white shape in the background that is now kind of following us. The music is really good. Um, I looked when I bought the game. Uh, I saw that the soundtrack was available. Um, and it's... Some people say it's it's quite expensive for a soundtrack on Steam. It was like £7 or maybe £7.99. Um, and a lot of soundtracks that you get as DLC for games tend to, uh, to, to be less than that. But... Having now heard some of the soundtrack, I am quite likely uh, to go and pick up a copy. 
Um, I do love video game sound. Tracks. I don't have control here. Is this the moon or the sun? No, it's the title screen. I thought we were going to get another cutscene then. Um, no, now I'm back in control. So that was just for... Whee! Whoa! Ah! Help! Falling! No control! Oof. So that was just for cinematic, cinematic effect. Uh, a thing! But why? I'm still hitting uh, all the buttons on the controller every now and again just to see if we've unlocked anything new. I do like that kind of... It, the animation is so good. Even though it's like a really simple uh, style in places, you know, the, the arms and legs are highly stylized, especially compared to the slightly more realistic face and all that effort put into the hair. Got some pyramids. Oop. And some kind of wind farm like instructions. Oh. Whoa. Some more of those. So they, those are kind of safe spots. So I wonder, do, do the propellers start going just before the, the wind is about to pick up? I can't say I was looking or noticed yeah there they go yeah they do good design love a bit of church organ There it goes again. So I assume we have to be within a kind of building. Yeah, because you can see the, the stuff kind of uh, being battered off the side. Ah, but I can't get over there because I don't have... Hello, little guys. Ah, that's what I need. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really digging the aesthetic of this. Oops. Honestly, not too bothered about the gameplay. I'm just enjoying looking at the game. Ooh. Go. Whoa! What the? What? I'll get to that. 
Ah, but if I go down... Aha! I'm loving how that, that organ it is kind of mixed in. Uh, and the, the kind of billowing sandstorm effect. I don't think I can get up there. It looks like there's breakable rock above it, but I've got no... I've got no ground pound or anything like that. real kind of sense of, of loss in this of, of things gone long past oh what have we unlocked oh Oh, I can now turn into a cube. <laughs> Is... I don't think that's breaking it, but I, th I think if there was... Yeah, I don't think that's actually affecting this bit in any way, shape, or form. But if we go back, we should now be able to break our way through. This here. Yes, no. Yes! I was thinking that was the wind in the game, but actually it's really kind of wet and windy outside. Whee! Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so we have... Oh, I like that. I wonder actually... Something I want to test... Can we turn into a block as the wind picks up and not get blown away? Probably. Probably wanted to do that a bit sooner. I mean, it's not like we get knocked back very far. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why I'm so amused by this. I'm a block. Aha! So you have to use the block to progress here because this is a longer... So is this, are these statues us as stages of?
loss and grief and Right, we can go down there, I think. Hello. Thank you. Huh. So do I wish... Well, no, I, w I want to go back and... See if I can actually get... Down there. I like the little interactivity. Oh! Ooh! Ah! Oh, this possibly wasn't a good idea. We are but a broken bell. Interesting. The um, For those of you who've watched my playthrough of Unworthy, which was another very kind of stylized platform, although it was very much more of a, uh, a, a Dark Souls-influenced, uh, combat-focused game, uh, there was a bell very much like this in that game with kind of a shards missing we had to collect those shards in order to, order to get the true ending um, and that had really good music as well whoa That is... This game is just full of really, really beautiful things to look at. I'm not even bothered that there's not much in the way of gameplay yet. I'm just enjoying it. Oh. I'm just enjoying looking at it. Oh. Oh. So we didn't get to explore much of that area. Whee! Again, I'm not entirely sure how the logic uh, of the game is working, or whether it is just a string of ridiculously, imp oops, ridiculously impressive to look at vistas and see pieces of scenery. thought that might do something.
We're just wondering how we're going to get over that gap. This is taking us back. Hi guys. I have started something going. Oh, I see. So I've only got two. So I need to go and find another. Yeah, there's one up there. Oh, no, that is not a thing that we can use. Do I? Do I have to go down? Yes, I do. That wants me to get back up there. I should be able to jump onto that, but I cannot. Ah. So now I can use that. And that's going to tilt it back. Yeah, so it's got proper physics. And that stops it going any further that way. That is very clever. Oh. Oh, I, f I fall off after... Land on the top, yes I can. And yeah, it's actually got kind of proper momentum as well. Whee. So, if you are on it, 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 it weighs it down um, as you would expect. Right, so now we can get up here. Oops. Fool of a took. But more than anything else, the soundtrack is just really impressing me. It's it's so ambient and, and yet it's always there. Um it, it's not in the background enough to be truly classed as ambient. It's like it's got a life of its own. Oh, here we go. Weird bird bat things. We can break the top of this, can't we? Yes. And to form... New platforms...
Ah, this is another one of the same. I wonder, can I... Hit both of them at once. We're going to need more of our little sparkly friends. There's one. But we've got to get to it. Because I can't drop through the platform. Can I? No, can't jump up there either. How do I get to you? And why does this look like a hot air balloon? Ah! Ah! Oops. So, with me on it, is that going to weigh it down? Yeah, so I can use my, my block weight. And then it will... Oh, actually, I want to get up... I want to guess. I don't think I'm going to be able to move. Oh no, maybe I am. No, I would have been if I'd thought about how to do that earlier. I would have been fast enough. I think. Go, 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 go. Go! Go on. And then that should enable me to get over here. Where I can... Destroy that. To get another... Thing. The problem is... I don't know what these things are. I'm getting a sense of what some of them do. I, th I think they're like locks. Fail. Fail! Going over here, then. Is this the way we came? No. You look breakable, sir. Why would I wish to break you? I'm so sorry! Sorry, dude.
That is not interacting. I think I need to chase him. Yes, I do. Ah! Because I couldn't have got to that unless I'd broken his rock and got him to hide in this one to lift it up. Okay. That's very clever. I like that. So, can I now... Ah. So I can now get up here. I've got five little things following me. I thought I'd only got four. We're going to have to start this windmill, aren't we? That's going to be our... Our mission. Can't stand on the spokes yet. We don't have the strength or weight, rather, to push that down. Or maybe we just have to do it from... No. Got to be something further up then that we need to go and grab. Oop. So head over this side. Oh no, we were just going to jump from even further up. No. Ah. Could we have gone even further up still? I can imagine that there are quite a few people that would get uh, annoyed with this style of game. Ah, we just had to jump. Right, so. So the air has shifted. Oh! Not only has the air shifted, but the landscape has shifted with it. So the puzzle elements are quite light so far, but we are only 50 minutes in. I wonder how long the game is. Oh. Wasn't sure whether I was going to be able to make that. Oh, fingers. Uh-oh, cutscene. Oh, new power? Or a manifestation. Oh no, new colour. Life returns. Green and blue. A 
And it's all beautifully blended in as well. Green. So we've got these roots now to fall through. So we're heading underneath the red. And you can see the red and the green blending together. And we're falling. Oh, that's the... <laughs> so what's going on there? Is it broken? No, it's just the side of the map. I'm really liking the way the different layers are blending together and interacting. Hold on. Is this... Yeah, this is the big temple place. That we were in before. And now we can add a second colour into the mix. And that gives us another constellation in the sky. Ah, so each puzzle that we complete, we bring the dots back and then it allows us, uh, it builds up a, a bridge in the sky, which I'm assuming will take us to our ultimate destination. And I'm also assuming... that now we've got this brake power, our cube... I could get over there before. So, in a way, I suppose it has very subtle Metroidvania elements. Very, very slight Metroid elements. Can't say Metroidvania. There's no map. And there's no combat either, really. That I have seen. We do still have multiple buttons, though. That have yet to be used. I'm assuming we're going to get more powers. I can't imagine uh, just turning into a cube is going to be the only power that we get. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Oh! Are you opening up the way for me? Or are you preventing me getting back? And we've we've now gone to a, that, that that slightly more sketched aesthetic, almost like somebody is exploring, using sketchbooks to to get through a, a situation, an emotional situation. Hello. Yeah, you, you can all actually see the, the kind of pixelation. Um, so th this has all been drawn into the computer. So there's more life in this area. I think there's, there's slightly more colour to the environmental objects that will block your progress. 
Mushroom people. Ooh, what? Oh. Kind of timing based puzzle. Uh, but they don't just appear, they kind of drip in and out. Hello? This is a cutscene. <gasps> Hello? Come back, little block man head thing. I like the fact that it doesn't really feel like there's things that can be missed, like secrets and stuff. At least it doesn't look like they are. Maybe I've... I see you there in the foreground. It doesn't look like there are secrety bits. But maybe... Maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, more. Oh! Okay. So we're gonna have. Oh, I can't get up there. So that block is going to change. And up. That allows me to get up here. There's something very fascinating about this uh, experience. I mean, it is a game, but I kind of feel like I'm reticent to call it a game, if that makes any sense. It's one of those. Now, maybe those things are missable. Because I don't know what they are. Hello, cutie things. That's something that we can break. And we can't go any further that way. So... <gasps> oh, no! Nom, nom. It's a square apple. Get out of him. He's following me. Do I have to feed him apples? Is he going to be my solution to a puzzle? Is he going to be my constant companion? He reminds me of... Um... Oh, I see what we're going to do here. We are going to knock some apples down. Is he going to grow up? Is he going to become a big block boy? Yeah, it remind, he reminds me of a character from like Castle Crashers or uh, Battle Block Theatre. Whether I need to go down and grab him when he's eating an apple, or or maybe I'm doing what I should be doing. Nom 
nom nom nom nom. He looks happy. Ah, hello. We've made a friend. Oh. Thank you, friend block. Yes, that so that is the end of the the map that way. So I guess well, Ooh, round's gone spoopy. Huh. Oh, I see, so we need to guide him and he will open pathways for us. That's clever. And this episode is already over an hour long. Time flies when you are discovering to bash that so he can get past oh where's he gone oh he's up there oh <laughs> he can do it as well Up. Have another apple, mate. Nom nom nom. <laughs> ah, so he gives us extra weight. Oh, uh, I just wanted to see if there's anything over here. <laughs> there's an apple. We'll bring him back that way. Is he okay? Yes. Come with me. You want munchies? Numb. Is he growing more leaves on his head? Or is that just entirely my imagination? Maybe he'll turn into a tree. No, he's a stone block. Why would that work? Let's see if there's anything. Oops! Gone. Maybe I should have gone down the hole. Oh, I don't have any. That's a new power. That's what we got our block. Oop. That's what we got our block power from. Is he going to be down? Hello. Oh. Uh, hi, friends. Is our mate going to be down here? Just putting in a good word for us. 
Got no interactions with them. Oh, is this going to be our way back up? Maybe. Hello! Hello. Yay! A shiny! Ah, yeah, so he dropped down there. And I, th I think our bit with him is now done. Gotcha. So now, I'm assuming, yeah, we need a second, second blip. I don't think, oops. Just me randomly pressing the buttons to see if we've got anything new unlocked. We haven't. So there's got to be one over here. Can I feel? I kind of feel like jumping moves us ever so slightly faster. I don't know whether that's in any way accurate. It's it's infinitesimal if it is. Right, we've got some more of the bleeding, uh, bleeding blocks. They, oh, they swap every time we jump. Beep, 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 beep. There was a puzzle in *Or in the Blind Forest* that did something very similar. When you have to had to bounce between the kind of spectral lily things. Doll. Ah. And there was a thing over here I just noticed. Which I'm not going to be able to get because I'm bad. Still bad. Puzzles, no. Aha! Sometimes you don't need to jump. Okay, so we can now go back to the temple. I don't know why I'm calling it a temple. What are we going to get now? What's it going to be? Oh, diamond power. Oh, 
jumping. Double jump. Not just a double jump, actually. Uh, it has a glide with it. You can only glide from the second jump. Yes. Oops, almost screwed that up. So these butterflies... Oh, the butterflies act as kind of super leap, super leap points, which enable us to, uh, to, to dash up into the air. So we need to watch out for those. But again, our arsenal of moves we has greatly I see what I needed to do there and I failed miserably to do it just like that just like that and butterfly shoot! Now, question is... Yes! Can I... Aha! I like this game mechanic. This is this is nicely thought out. That is not a way I can get through. And 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 That's not going to work. No, and it mm, be better. Got to get good. But there's no... Aha! I see you, butterflies! So sometimes the butterflies are going to be hidden. I feel like there might be something over here. Nope! Oh, crud. Gosh darn it! Gosh darn it. Up and up. And... Oh, th this is just a field of butterflies, so we can just keep on going. Ah, back to another statue.
get those out of the way first. I like how it zooms out to give us a real kind of sense of where we're at. That is entirely the wrong button. I'm just wondering if there is only one kind of path. More butterflies. And a cutscene. Colour change? Oh, no. What? Hello? Hi? It's like a boss. Oh, here comes the birds. Yeah, th this is kind of a boss battle. Ha! Ah, oh, I really like the... The, the animation on, on the, the bird. Uh-oh. It's above us! Nope! Assuming I'm going this way. Oh, hello, buddy. Nope. Oh, you can push me that way all you want. Oh, no. Ah, clever game. Using the enemy against it. Oops, he's above us again. Looks like there should be something out there, but there isn't. Where are my butterflies? No. I think I need to be in the air. I do, but I need to land on that block. Oops. Ah, but if I hit the ground... Ah, I know. I know. Yes, I can. Right. So. <laughs> I am the puzzle-solving king. 
Everybody knows that this is not true. <laughs> so blatantly untrue. Up and up and up. To the top of the tower. Is it bad that I want to call the bird Kuro? Whoa! Hello! Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Orange! Bells! Oh! The, the aesthetic of this game is so interesting. It's so vibrant and and yet kind of washed out at the same time, if that makes sense. I want to see if there's anything over here. No, there is not. Um... It is very much like a painting. Just checking. It isn't always clear what you're going to be able to land upon, though. <laughs> or oh, flood of buys. Up, up. Oh, hello. Ah, did we get close enough for him to... I think we've just got to get close enough to him. For him to do... Yeah, and that will... Disrupt him. Ooh! His face kind of went. Bleh. Almost like his face melted off. I can see why the, the the overwhelmingly positive reviews... I mean, there's nothing particularly innovative gameplay-wise here at all. Um, this is all kind of stuff that we've seen in, in some form or another before. But I'm looking very, very washed out, I've just realised. It's, it's such a bright game. Um... Oh, cutscene. More colour? Yes. So is this blue? Yeah. And when it hits the red, it's going to turn purple. And it's raining. Blue. I think, because this is now in 26 minutes long already, I think we're going to leave that there. I've no idea how the save system in this game works at all. So hopefully that will have saved all of our progress. 
up to this point, but it is getting kind of late. So um, there we go. That is our first look at Greece, um, which I've really enjoyed so far. I, I was a bit, uh, a bit worried because a lot of things that have kind of overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, um, I'm not always convinced uh, by, by them because I often wonder you know, what is so special uh, about the game for it to get overwhelmingly positive reviews. I can see why now. Great soundtrack, incredibly striking art style. Um, nothing particularly exciting about the mechanics, but brilliant animation. And and did I mention the, the, the absolutely striking soundtrack? I am now going to go and buy that soundtrack. I hope you have all enjoyed this first look at Greece. Um, I'm not entirely sure when the next episode will be coming out um, because I'm a busy person and I've got a lot of work to do on the week up to Christmas. But, yeah, this, for the price, 15 quid, worth picking up. Very much worth your time. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you here for the next one. Have a good one. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Remember to ring the bell to be notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.